get this flip back around. Yeah. Yeah. I know I flip it back around. <laughs> yeah. 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 I know I need yeah. sound. singing one of the old standards, Blessed Assurance.
upon the Mount of Transfiguration. And Peter said to Jesus, Master, let us make a tabernacle, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Mm -hmm. Well, I realize we are not on the Mount of Transfiguration, but I believe that I'm among God's people. Yes. And I give him all the honor and all and the praise for allowing us to be together one more time. Yes. Yes. That is so good. This morning, our scripture is coming from Acts, the book of Acts. And this is the 26th chapter, beginning at the 13th verse. At midday, O king, I saw in the way a light from heaven above the brightness of the sun, shining round about me, round about me, them which is journeyed with me. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me mm. and saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecuted by me? Mm. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. Mm -hmm. And I said, who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus whom thou persecuted. Mm -hmm. But rise, stand up, mm. stand up on thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee for a purpose, to make thee a minister the witness both of these things which thou hast seen and of those things in which I have appeared unto thee. Uh, that's Acts chapter 26, verses 3, 6, 13 through 16. May the Lord bless the readers, the hearers, and the doers of his word. Amen. 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 We thank you for your mercy, Father God. We thank you, Father God, because 
you saw fit to touch us yeah. one more time, oh God, yeah. to allow us to come to your house of worship, Father God, to lift you up, Lord God, yeah. for you are worthy to be praised, yes. oh God. Well, and we can well, praise you this morning, Father God. Well, Thank you. 
might and love. To these ends, I pledge to devote myself and seek divine aid and guidance daily, that I might become a living witness and a bright and shining light for my Lord. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to do just a little bit of this. You find it on the back of your um, bulletin. Let's sing Hope to God's Unchanging Hands. Hope to His pain.
this now on Friday. And now I think we got a couple of more things going on. We want you to um, keep in mind that the State Baptist Convention is having a, a jubilee service uh, this afternoon. And the jubilee service is simply uh, a fancy way of saying they're having a benevolent service. They're using uh, Fifth Sunday Fellowship as a means to provide funds for our Jubilee account where we help those in need. Amen. Amen. It's going to be held at uh, New Hope uh, Missionary Baptist Church over in St. Paul. Uh, the location is, is on Burr, I think it's seven something. 709 Bird Street, there in St. Paul. Uh, it starts at 3.30, and I'm pretty sure it's not going to be a very long service, but uh, uh, our whole purpose for coming together is to generate funds to help those in need. It seems like uh, we've been helping many people in the community to bury loved ones yeah. Yeah. and that we wish would slow down Amen. if not stop all together because it's no fun because it seems like these children are getting younger and younger yeah. and it's just no fun to have to funeralize nine ten year olds mm -hmm. and they haven't done anything to anybody they we're just at the wrong place at the wrong time. So we ask you to be mindful of that. If you can, please, ma'am, please come and go uh, uh, with us now. Um, we got a couple of treats coming. Uh, I, I heard them practicing, y'all. <laughs> a couple of selections and after they uh, have done their selections then we're going to hear our morning message.
psychiatrists say maybe they just should have given it to him. But what if the parents didn't have it? But I want you to look at this. Everything that's supposed to be right, somebody didn't hit the reverse button. And things are in reverse. And it's being glorified. Our young people today murdering, lying, stealing is being glorified. So today I want to talk from the subject of raising hell and pushing away heaven. Amen. Raising hell and pushing away heaven. Right. What people don't realize today is your actions can speak for you. Your actions can determine where you go. Uh -huh. If you steal, that's an action. Yes, if you murder, it's an action. Yeah. Even if you lie, it's an action. Yeah. 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 Now, all three of those things physically can land you in two places. <laughs> and my mother used to tell us this as kids. It's two places you can go with those three actions. Jail or hell. Yeah, jail yeah, jail. Yeah. This is what's being glorified. When the Bible says different. Now I want you to look at this. In the text. It says he will take vengeance on them that know not the gospel. Yeah, yeah. Know not God. Today, if you look at what's going on on TV, they can took God out of everything. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on. They want to make sure you don't know God. Yeah, yeah. When I was in the 12th grade, it started with prayer out of school. Yes. Uh, right, right. Mm. That was the biggest fight going on. Yeah. And when I graduated college, I realized it wasn't for me. It was for those coming behind me. Well, well, well. Because mama and grandmama had already taught us this book. That's right. The pastor had already taught us the book. Yeah. Sunday school had taught us the book. Uh -huh. So we was too far gone, but the ones who were coming behind, they can hit reversal. Well, well, well. All right. yeah. And this keep them from knowing God. Yeah. And then they put another thing out here that said there are many paths to God. Uh -huh. When they yell many paths, they hoping that you take the wrong path. Well, uh -huh. come on. Uh -huh. They hoping that you get off at the far exit. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And these are the ones who do not know God. Mm -hmm. But what they know is what they can deal with within themselves. Come on now. Uh -huh. Come on. Self lie. Uh -huh. Self hurts the heart of man. Well. Yeah. And self, one thing will let self down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know some people don't want to hear this. Go on, preach, huh? But they are raising hell and pushing away hell. Say it again. Say it again. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. But I want you to look at this. Not only is he going to be vengeful to the ones who God know God, uh -huh. but those who Blatantly disobey the gospel. Watch out, watch out. One thing I've noticed about those who come against you with the gospel, they know it better than you do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. An atheist can challenge you. He knows this book better than you do. Because why? He ain't no better than the devil because the devil was down when it was written. Yeah. Yeah. They want to raise hell and push away hell. Uh -huh. The one thing you got to remember in your actions, there is a punishment come along with that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because there's one thing appointed to man, and that's death. Yeah, yeah. That's one appointment you can't miss. Can't miss it, Doctor. Can't miss it. That's right. Ain't right. changed. That appointment is permanent. Yeah. One day, that soul is going to leave that body. It's going to need a new home. Yes, sir. But it's going to have to be put on the scales. Uh -huh. Did you raise hell or did you push away?
situation. This thing going to be weighed out. You see, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction? Yeah. yeah. But I want you to look at this and I want you to think about it hard and I want you to take it home with you. Uh -huh. We done made it so, people that made it so, that they have everlasting destruction right here on earth. Come on, yeah. Yeah. come on. Because yeah. they blatantly disobeyed so. the gospel. They might, they call it living your best life. Ah, ah, your best life. I done heard them say that 40 is the new 30. Uh, 50 is the new 40. 60 is the new 50. I got room for you. 30 is 30, 40 is 40, 50 is 50, 60 is 60. You can't put nothing in the verse. But see, you will be cut off from the presence of the Lord. Now, that's a powerful state. Yeah. Because if you ain't in the Lord's presence, well, well, who presence are you in? Come on now. Come on now. And I'm gonna give it to you this way. Uh -huh. If you're in the Lord's, if you're not in God's presence, uh -huh. but you raised hell, well. you're in the presence. Of the kingdom of this earth. Uh -huh. And I'd stop to tell you. Stop pushing away heaven. Right. Now. Those who held on. To the promise of God. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. Shall be glorified. Uh -huh. With the saints. Come on preacher. Come on. You shall be lifted up. Uh -huh. There will be no more crying. Okay. There will be no more mourning. Well, there will be no more pain. Uh huh. Because the suffering is going to be over. Thank yeah, you Lord. yeah. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. And you will be admired in all of them that believe because of your testimony. Come on, please. In order to have a testimony, uh -huh. that means you went through some tests, some trials, yeah, yeah, some yeah. tribulations. Yeah, yeah. But yet you held on. To the promise of heaven. Uh -huh. oh, yes, oh, yes. Every time you want to give up, I tell people, think about Calvary. Well, give up. Did it take you back? Think yeah. about Calvary. Yeah. Yeah. Man. I do. And the bad thing about Calvary, the people who crucified him even knew him. Yeah, oh, yeah, Lord. yeah. But they didn't know him. The same as the world today, they know the name of Jesus. Uh, but they don't uh, know the power uh, of Jesus. Come on, come on. Come on now. And when you get ready to tell them about it, I think about that old song my mama used to say, I'm just a nobody. Yeah. 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 That's how they look at you. When you tell them about Christ, yeah. they look at you as a nobody. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I'm going to keep on telling somebody well, yeah. about Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Because in the end, uh -huh. I'm going to have to stand accountable. Yeah. You're going to have to stand accountable. Yeah. Yeah. And your testimony is going to have to be true. But I ain't going to be here long. But I want you to understand what I'm getting at. Hebrews 9 and 27 say, and just as it is appointed for man to die yes. once, listen to that. Once. And after that comes judgment. Come on, yeah. Yeah. There ain't no take backsies and no duels. Once it's gone, it's gone. Yeah, yeah. Once you take that last breath, it's over. Uh -huh. But when you stand for judgment, when well, you I'm have anything. They can use to advocate. Come on, come on, come on. Come on now. Ain't no plea deals with God. No, no, no. Ain't no probation period on, with God. Now. Yeah, yeah. It's either you in or you out. Uh -huh. You did or you didn't. Come well, on. you were saved or you wasn't. Uh -huh. You will stand judgment. Don't stand, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't stand. Yeah. And Matthew 10 and 28 said, and these will go away into eternal punishment. Come on, I heard a 
preacher said one time, eternity was like turning over an hourglass. Uh -huh. One grain of salt a day. That's a whole lot of punishment. Yes, sir. For raising a little hell. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Whole lot of punishment. Yes. But the righteous will enter into eternal life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So basically what I, that means is if I just hold on, I don't have to worry about this whole body. Uh, yeah. There's a life beyond this. Yeah. If I just keep the faith, yeah. if I just walk on and not look back, yeah. there is an eternal life. Uh -huh. And those who have been raised in hell, I got a message for you too. On, there is an eternal life on the other side. Yeah. Yes, sir. Which one are you going to choose? They yeah. both start with an H. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Uh -huh. up and one and down. Yeah. North and south. Them are only two choices you got. Come on now. Because limbo don't exist. Oh, yeah. Purgatory don't exist. Oh, sir. You got heaven ahead. Yeah. So are we going to keep raving hell and pushing away heaven or are we going to hold on to the promise well, of God? At this time, the doors of the church are open. You may come by well. You may not come by candidate for baptism. Or Christian experience. Or you just might need prayer. I need to stand in the gap for someone. The doors are open. Mm. I will trust you. Thank you. 
seem to have forgotten that one day we will give an account of what we have done while in the body. You may get away with it for a while, but you will not get away. Famous words from Joe Lewis. Joe Lewis said, yeah. You can run, <laughs> but you can't. All right. Once you get in that square circle with the Lord, yeah. you can run all you want, uh-huh. but you can't have it. Mm-hmm. Malachi chapter 10, verse th- chapter 3, and beginning at verse number 10. You'll find these words recorded there. I believe I'm going to start at verse 6. Malachi chapter 3 and verse 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Even from the days of your father, you have gone away from my ordinance and have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, said it, the Lord of hosts. Yeah. But he said, Wherein shall we return? Will a man rob God? Yet uh-huh. ye have robbed me. But he said, Wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. Mm-hmm. You are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Yeah. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house. And prove me now here, which said of the Lord of hosts, that I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive. May the Lord have a blessing to the reading, the hearers, and doers of his words. Now I understand that someone in the state of Minnesota few individuals on this last mega million drawing and they want a million dollars. If you just happen to be a member of Pilgrim Press or you want to be a member, you will gladly accept your time. If you truly want to be blessed, God bless you. Thank you again for coming today, and thank you for sharing with us, uh, Dr. Cooper. Uh, We want you to remember that even though we are doing things a little bit different, uh, I want to uh, say this so uh, that you will know. Uh, I got a call on yesterday asking me had I forgot about homecoming. And I said, uh, I got a doctor's appointment, so I can't make it this year. And they reminded me there's a fifth Sunday in July. Whenever there's a fifth Sunday in July, we have homecoming on the fifth Sunday and not the first Sunday. I said, man, how did that get by me? Many years a week. <laughs> and uh, my friend reminded me, he said, preacher, we are not as young as we used to be. Uh, you know, I'm part of the 39 Club. Make sure you see the Ursha on your way out. Uh, all right. If our hearts and minds are clear, Father God, we ask that you keep us, Father, as we go to our next destination. And Father God, we ask that you put a spiritual wall around us with a spiritual head and protect us from things seen and unseen. In your Son, Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
for the rest of the stuff. Okay. How you doing, my son? We don't do it like this. Well, okay.
That's true. That's true.